Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to DIY Geek YouTube channel. In this video, I just want to make this uh, quick video. Uh, hopefully this will help somebody um, for a uh, Genie uh, S60 boom lift. Or I think this worked with S40, S80 probably. Uh, basically the other sizes of the uh, Genie boom lift. So I bought this used because I have a project that is going to be uh, lasting a long time and I really don't know much about boom lifts but uh, I bought it used and it had a uh, an issue where the front tires, those two tires right here and I got this flip by the way uh, so usually this control will be on the other side but um, because I had that problem uh, well let me describe to you about the problem first so the problem was that these tires, the one that turns, not the, um, I guess the front tires, yeah, the one that turns, um, not the back tires. When you are driving it, it sometimes just kind of moves to the left or to the right by itself. So it has kind of a mine on its own. And um, I bought it that way. I bought it uh, cheap with that problem. And I took a risk of, um, uh, with this particular um, joystick here uh, well actually the old joystick is right there okay so let me pick that up real quick so this joystick um, is the old joystick that used to be here right here and uh, this joystick is a uh, dual axis what they call hall effect so I open it it has magnets that moves back and forth or left or right that's how the uh, the electronics is able to detect what you are doing when you're steering this the, this joystick is defective that's all it is uh, this joystick is mic by c -Tech, and it is not working well well actually it's working i would say about 80 percent of the time and the other 20 percent it, it has a mind of its own and it, it causes the uh, those two front wheels to turn left and right by itself which is really dangerous um having said that um i took a risk and uh, all i did to fix this issue was at first i just flip this is also a dual axis or used to be so let me back up this joystick used to be here and what I did to troubleshoot before I purchase a new joystick is that I flipped this joystick that used to be here, I put it here, and I just decommissioned this guy right here. So once I did that, I tested it out and everything works perfectly. So I knew then that the new joystick would fix my issue, which was really great. So then I just bought a new joystick, basically. Um, I bought it off Amazon and uh, it was $90 I think or $99 something like that it's less than a hundred I'm gonna put the link in the description I bought the joystick and all I did is, is, is just basically unscrew let me open it up and I'll show you uh, so basically all I did was unscrew a, uh, a particular cable I mean I unscrewed these uh, four nuts right here and then um, I undid this ground wire and unplug this wiring harness here and basically just plug in and, and um, re-screw the new controller joystick and uh, re-screw everything back including the uh, ground wire and um, uh, and then you would have to recalibrate first in order for everything to work so recalibrating is really easy actually so all you have to do is make sure that the uh, the power, uh, the you know the the push button there on the base unit is turned on, and this is turned on. But do not start the engine. And uh, once that is, uh, those are both on. Uh, what you do is you would take the new joystick and then go to one position like this, and then wait five seconds and then go to the different position and wait five seconds go to this position and wait five seconds uh, there's supposed to be a beep that makes a, uh, a sound uh, in my case there was no beep but I knew for a fact that when I had the joystick first installed nothing worked and then the, when I did the calibration everything started working so I know my calibration did something uh, so yeah so right now everything works perfectly which I'm really, really happy because I got the uh, this boom lift at an amazing discount. And 
all I did was uh, basically replace a joystick for $100 and spend about 30, 40 minutes um, working it out here. And uh, now my boom lift is uh, working perfectly. Yeah, so I just want to share this uh, tip uh, for anybody that's having that same uh, joystick issue with the uh, steering that is kind of erratic. It sometimes moves to the left, right, have a mind of its own, which is pretty dangerous. Yeah, so this is how you fix it. I just changed with the joystick. And um, please look at the uh, link in my description to, to buy the, uh, the joystick. Uh, I think mine is made by MCS, which is a very uh, popular company, I believe. Yeah, so anyway, thank you for watching this video. Uh, if you like it and this was useful, please give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel to see more do-it-yourself videos like these and support my channel. Thank you.